Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I'm so frustrated with myself because I did this whole video and went to upload it and realized that I forgot to plug the other mic in and the mic on my webcam is not working and now I have to do a voiceover. So here he is. Today I am doing mo more Mod Podge and we are doing the Mega Glitters and we are doing uh, the Mega Glitter Gold, Mega Glitter Silver and Mega Glitter Hologram. And here I'm showing you the papers that I will show you it on. This is just a neutral, like a gray paper. This is a darker paper and some white paper just so you can see the differences. Um, and I also will show you what you can do if you do not have these. Um, so we're going to go with the Mega Glitter Gold first. And I'm shaking it. Um, you know, you don't have to shake it. You could put it upside down and do all the things. But look at that. How pretty. So I'm going gonna, gonna to slap it down. We're going to put it down on this paper. And it goes on beautifully. It, I mean, it has the consistency of glue, of Mod Podge or, you know. Now, <clears throat> one of the things um, that my, uh, that uh, Plaid Crafts has said is that when you, you can see me painting it one way and then paint it another. Uh, so you do that a couple times after it's dry or like I just did, and you'll get better coverage because, you know what I mean, you're kind of, doing it that way. I use this for everything. I use the hologram one. It's almost empty, but I use it all the time. And you can see on the dark, you can see how it just shines and you can still see it's transparent. So you can still see underneath, but you can use this, you know, in your art journal on ATC cards, you can use it, you know, as hair uh, to sparkle in an eye, flowers, the sun. I mean, you can, the glitter is fantastic. I love glitter. I think 99% of the time I walk around with glitter somewhere on my body. So yeah, so that's it. Now I'm going to use a um, palette knife and I'm not using water showing you these. I'm just going to, you know, wipe off the brush. Uh, a palette knife they you can use as well. So you go in and you kind of like squinch it down, you know which I love that. I love using that in mixed media and just adding, you know, it adds a little something, something, you know what I mean? So I'm going to show you that with the gold, but I mean, you can get the same effect with a brush. Don't, you know, you'll see it really doesn't. No, I didn't build it up. If I would have built it up, it probably would have looked a little bit more phenomenal, <laughs> but it just looks good. You know what I mean? It looks shiny and just good. So you can do it that way as well if you don't want to get your brushes dirty. Because I know some people don't like to uh, use glitter glue with their brushes. Now, Plaid also makes, which I do not have, the silicone um, things that you can use the same kind of way as the palette knife. And always wipe around because that I was going to curse, sorry, that will glue shut. And then you got to try to pry it open and it's just not enjoyable. So now we're going in with the silver. And I'm shaking it again. And I'm showing you, you can, you know, I'll, if I haven't used it in a while, I'll put it on my desk upside down like that. And then I'll turn it, you know, ever so often just to kind of get that glitter going. But honestly, I have no patience and I just shake it. I don't have any issues with it. Look at that. And same thing. Now this is going on a like colored paper. So um, the paper itself is like a grayish silver. And you'll see how nice it looks. So think about when you have, I know I do, a lot of scrapbook paper. And I've done a, quite a few videos on what to do with your scrapbook paper, how to paint over it, use the background, you know, whatever. Um, and this is another thing to do is just add some a bunch of glitter on it to give it a new life. 
You know, one day maybe you're uninspired and you're like, I'm going to grab three sheets of scrapbook paper I really don't particularly care for. Or maybe you love it. And I'm just going to add some, you know, sparkle. Now look at that. Look at the gold and then look at the silver. It's so pretty. Very nice. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I don't know what the heck I was saying there. I was just so proud of myself. I got this video done like in 14 minutes. And now I have to do one with silver. But I love this stuff. And I, you know, want to show you guys the different things that you can purchase. And next is the hologram one. Now, this one's a little less. This is my favorite one. It's a little, you can see I've got like a quarter of that left. It's not as a boom in your face. You do have to build this up if you want it to baboom. Um, I love a good baboom. Uh, who doesn't love a good baboom? But on here, we're just going to do a little, little tap. You know what I'm saying? Still beautiful. Still going to be able to see it, but it's, you can really, you know, just as a little elegant something, you know. I love using this on polymer clay. I love using this on uh, resin. Like, I use this stuff everywhere. The, tip, the trick is, is to use uh, thin coats. I learned that the hard way because I had painted something, a, a piece of clay or something, and thought, oh, I'm just going to, you know, pile on the glitter glue, and it just didn't work the way I needed it. So you do it in thin coats, leave it dry for a good 20 minutes or so, and then go over another thin coat. And you will see it builds up quick, and you'll get way better um, long-lasting power, and it won't peel. It's just a whole other thing. So what says you don't have glitter glue? You don't have the money for the glitter glue. I'm now telling you that... My dog's tooth I had sitting on my desk. It stuck to the Mod Podge, fell onto the paper. Um, I have a dog, and he's losing his little baby teeth. So when I find them, I keep them. Anyway, irrelevant. But <laughs> use your Mod Podge mat or any other white glue that you have. And I'm going to grab some red glitter. And when I grab this red glitter, you'll see what I'm going to do. So you don't have glitter glue? You don't have, uh, you know, whatever, go to your local dollar store. Your dollar store has Mod Podge. Your dollar st store has uh, glitter. If you don't have it at home, do it that way for two bucks. And you can get a glitter pack at the dollar store. You get like five in there. You know what I mean? So you can do it. And you, if you want, you can have a little container where you pour a little bit of your Mod Podge or white or your uh, glue and, um, Put the glitter in there so it's all ready to go, you know. So many different ways to do it. Never think you're stuck without, you know, being able to do something. And you can see I put some glue down. I sprinkled some of that. I'm going to get a little bit more glue, go over it, add a little bit more. And just get it around. And remember, dry is clear. It looks gorge when it's done, especially the red. I mean, it dried perfectly. You wouldn't know the difference. Obviously, it's a little bit more opaque, so you can't necessarily see uh, underneath, if that makes sense. But good God, to make like, I did my mom a um, art quilt of The Wizard of Oz. It was the yellow brick road, and I had like the uh, red ruby slippers and this, that, the other. And I used the red uh, glitter with my Mod Podge, and, oh, it was just, it, it came out beautiful. It just had such depth, and, oh, loved it, loved it. came out beautiful. I might make another one, because I love it so much. <laughs> okay, so look, so there's your gold. Look at that gold shining. And the, look at that. That's with the knife. Look at that. And like I said, if you brought it the other way, you'd really have a nice thick uh, layer of gold shininess. I don't know what the heck I was talking about there, but something. 
Ooh, I was going. Look at my hands. Girl, look at my hands. Oh, the swiping. I'm telling you if you go the one way and the other. Yes, I already discussed that. Here is the silver. Look how pretty. And that's on the same, you know, tone on tone kind of thing. There's the hologram one. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that. So you can see how it's more scattered throughout the glue, but you can build that up easily. And then there's the red. And it's not all the way dry there. I'm looking at my desk, and it's dry, and it's gorge. So, but you can see, so easy. Now we'll look on the dark. Now I'm going to put these products down below from Amazon. If you want to support me and you're able to, if you want to buy them from there, I get a couple pennies. I appreciate it. Uh, if not, look, go get it to your local uh, Joann's, Michael's, all the things, Hobby Lobby. Use a coupon and get pick one that you like and get it. You know, if you're able to, they're a lot of fun. So now you can see this on the dark, and you can see the pattern underneath. I wanted you guys to see the transparency of it. So, you know, if you're building up on different um, papers, you know what I mean? You can really, you can make it as transparent as you want. And then there's that delicious red. Yas. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then we're going to see it on the white. I mean, look, and that's like stripped down to like, that's what it looks like, you know, um, the white, I mean, the gold and the silver and then the hologram and then the red. And it's gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Look at that hologram. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I am going to be doing giveaways. Um, they're going to be coming up. I'm figuring out how to do them. Because if I do it one way, people complain. If I do it another way, people complain. And I just have to figure out the best way for me to do the giveaway. And then, um, you know, that's what I'm going to do. So that will be coming up soon. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the uh, different Mod Podges, the different glues, the glitters. Um, it really does. It, it, it does add something to your, your painting. You know what I mean? And like I said, I walk around with glitter on me all the time. But I will have more videos coming out of different, you know, I like to do like three or four um, different Mod Podge sets because there's so many that they have. So you can, you know, see which one you like and which one would benefit you the most. Um, you'll have a blast playing with them. And that's all I have today. So, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battles somebody else is fighting. Uh, please stay safe. Be safe. Wear your mask, all the things. And, yeah, I just really appreciate you guys supporting me in whatever way you can. And I'd appreciate it if you can. Can you share me around on your social media um, and just get my channel out there a little bit? If there's a video of mine that you like, I'd appreciate it. I know you guys are waiting for vlog, uh, and that's coming up. I, I'm trying to figure out my camera situation, but... And then I was sitting there telling you, look at the beautiful glitter on my paper towel that I will end up throwing in a pile in the corner with the rest of the pretty paper towels that I have for me to use for something. I don't know. I just keep collecting them. But, yeah, so that is all I have today. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.